the Lewis structure of iodine, or I2. Iodine is a non-metal. I know that because it comes from the top right-hand side of the periodic table. In fact, all the halogens are non-metals. And so when two non-metals bond with each other, we're going to end up with a molecular compound. I mean that to say it's not ionic, and we're going to be sharing electrons from one atom to another, as opposed to it being transferred from one to another. Now, the method I have to draw the Lewis structure for molecular compounds is to count the total number of valence electrons first. Well, iodine here is in group 17, and therefore it brings seven valence electrons with it. But that's each, and there's two of them, which means I need 14 electrons total in this Lewis structure. Then I draw the central atom and the surrounding atoms, and I connect them with single bonds to start. Now, there is no central atom here because there's only two atoms total. So I'm just going to put those two atoms down, single bond them to start. So far, so good. I'm going to add lone pairs to complete the octets of the outer atoms until they are full. Now, I'm also going to be careful that I don't go over 14 electrons total. Let's just see what happens. I already have two. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then for the other one, I have 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, I have 14 electrons. I'm not allowed to put any more down. If you have extra electrons, which we don't, we'd put them onto the central atom, but actually there even isn't a central atom there. And if there's an incomplete octet on that central atom, we would move lone pairs. Uh, this iodine has two, four, six, eight electrons around it. He's happy. This iodine has one, two, three, four pairs, two, four, six, eight electrons around it total. It's also happy. They satisfy the octet rule and I have the right number of electrons. This is it. I'm done. I've drawn the Lewis structure for I2. I hope you had a blast doing it because I sure did. And best of luck.